windshield it is actually sprinkling today and Jeff and Steph here we are headed up to the Palm Springs aerial tramway and the, this is the Jacinto uh, mountain range and we are going to ride the tram today very excited about that and again it is sprinkling we've been in Palm Springs for over two weeks and dry as dry can be and the tram day it decided to rain awesome so, <laughs> we will see how much we can get out and do depending on how much it rains so far it's just a sprinkle fingers crossed and this is the entrance gate to drive up to the tramway and you have to buy tickets online ahead of time and they also have parking passes to purchase so the parking passes were ten dollars and there are lots a through j and we are in parking lot a and it looks like j is the first one so it's uh we should be at the top parking I'm not sure if you can pick yours or if it just assigns you one. Oh, that's cute. An old tram car. This is lot A we're going into. We're going to find some parking. Tuck in your hips if you got a dually. Yeah. Beautiful up here. Hi guys, Morning. Jeff and Steph. So we're at the tram terminal in Palm Springs. The tram goes all the way up to this mountaintop behind us. And um, it's 8,700 feet. So it's gonna be super fun today. We're pretty excited. First time we've seen rain in like six months. It yeah. had to happen today, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Also that everyone it's should pretty. have It's pretty, they have Christmas masks. lights on the trees here as we walk up, which are probably beautiful at night. So the tram was built in 1963. Hopefully it's been serviced since then. Hopefully the cable's been replaced. <laughs> right? So we are inside the tram station. They have it nicely decorated for Christmas. It's really pretty. So down here at the bottom station, there's an outdoor grill and restaurant. They have like telescopes and it looks like there's a walking trail here. You can see it goes up through here. I think it's more so, of a picnic area. Yeah, so there is a lower walking area that you don't have to go up in the tram end to do. It's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry about the raindrops on the windows, guys. It is what it is. Oh, we're moving. The cable up above us. This is the world's only rotating tram, and we were just told not to hold on too tight to the handrails because the floor was underneath us. Yeah. For the new rotating tram cars, the improvements included new cables, drive system, and the removal of 1,000 cubic yards of rock. We'll see survey marks along the rock face during the trip, 
that indicates where rock removal was required. The new cabins are the first in the Western Hemisphere to rotate 360 degrees during their travel and are the largest of their type in the world. We're now high over Chino Canyon, once the summer home of the Agua Caliente Band of Cahuilla Indians. Since there are many streams that flow year-round, the canyon has an abundance of vegetation, including sycamore, cottonwood, alder, black maple, and a great deal of wild grapevine. To the left of our travel, or south of the tram car, is but one of the many waterfalls that is fed by runoff from the mountain. During our upward journey, we pass through a variety of different light zones, ranging from the valley station is pulling that car down, and in turn is pulling us up. The two cars are 34 feet apart when they pass. The Palm Springs aerial traffic say, was like first conceived in the early 1930s by a young electrical engineer, the late yeah. Francis Crocker, who to this okay. day is known Super as the high. father of the tramway. Right. The tramway and so on. We have some right. swing we're told. Let's see what happens. It's pretty fast though. We're almost there. So there we go. Up. Whoa. Whoa. It is between towers three and four that we reach the longest span on our journey. The cables stretch for more than half a mile. You'll see a variety of pine trees, including pinion, big cone, lodge pole, and pine fir. Natural residents of the high country include deer, mountain lion, awesome fox, bobcat, wow. raccoon, and the back. California gray squirrel. There's the city down there. Be sure to wear the proper clothing and your center is in operation with snow tubing, snow shoeing, and cross country ski equipment rental. The center is straight out of walking down the concrete trail. It's going really fast. All right, folks, welcome to the mountain station. We are about 8,516 feet above sea level right now. I will ask that as we dock the car, that we do hold on because the car does tend to bump from side to side very little um, as it settles in. Very so we are in the upper station, the um, San Jacinto station, and they have like a gift shop, they have restaurants, um, beautiful views. So here is one of the cafes where you can eat. They have a little stage here and a Christmas tree. And they do um, caroling. They have schools and other performances up here for Christmas. And they have this That's tree. Nice. Yeah, it's just lights. It's 45 feet tall. And they lit it last Saturday for Christmas. And you can see it from downtown. They do have lockers here. So if you come hiking or something for the day, you can lock up personal items. And here are some of the snakes. They are here the speckled rattlesnake, western diamond rattlesnake, and California mountain king snake. Some bugs and butterflies and birds you might see. It feels very much like a ski lodge in here. There's all sorts of displays. 
bobcat. We don't want to see one of those today. Oh, cute. Cute. <laughs> uh oh, those naughty, naughty squirrels. Birds in the area. This is what happens when you feed the squirrels. They eat too much. That's what happens. Dead. And then they stuff them yeah. for the displays. Yeah. Look at this little chipmunk. Yeah, a little chippy. He's adorable. Yeah. Huh. Hey, everybody. Jeff and Steph's excellent adventure with more great hiking advice, okay? Yeah. So today we figured we're going hiking, so the first thing we remember we do not need is water. Because yeah. we don't want to, you know, worry well, about that. Well, it there were restaurants and stuff up here. So right. I thought, well, okay, we can only so we don't. So we didn't want water. Uh, the other thing is um, we figured it's, if it's 35 or so, we definitely don't need clothes. So um, we decided to wear shorts today, not knowing how cold it was up here. Yes. The, the good thing is, no flip-flops. That is good. So yeah, we're pretty awesome that way. We said, uh, yeah, we can handle this. And so. we just asked them, and it's 39 up here. Yeah, 39. And it's this beautiful rain. Yeah, it's a beautiful rainy we day here like in Oregon. We're back in Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oregon. We actually weren't sure what it was because we haven't seen rain in six months. And the famous Oregon Oregonian saying is, we really need the rain. Yeah, we really need the rain. Mom, and, uh, that's for you. You yeah. tell me every day that you guys really need the rain. So I guess we really needed the rain here in the desert. And a quick shout out to the Wags, Leslie and Dustin. Dustin. Uh, met them yesterday and hung out with them. Yeah, and, uh, we super had such cool. a fun time. You guys yeah. are awesome. We're so excited. to. We've been following them for three years. and uh, Yeah, it was awesome to make the connection. We always said, oh, we want to meet them if we ever go out. And They're exactly like they seem on their videos, you know, yes. totally unpretentious, just laid back, cool people. And uh, we had a great time with them. And uh, hopefully we're going to meet up with them uh, again soon. Yeah, maybe so, in uh, Quartzite. Yep. So we will, we're going to do a short trail here since it's raining and Maybe have a snowball fight in a yeah. half hour or so. See how that we'll goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So we're at the state park and we are starting to walk down. It is very steep. Can you imagine this on when it's icy? Yeah, we should have a sled. Yeah, this is like a very steep walkway. But it goes down the hillside here. I'll show you more in a second. If it's back. painful, if it's painful going down, I can imagine coming up. Yeah, it's going to be a doozy. Right. <laughs> but so beautiful here. So the tickets to come on the tram are a little pricey and you do have to buy the additional um, $10 parking pass to park in one of their lots. But we figured we would splurge. It's kind of like our Christmas gift to each other. It seemed like something really beautiful we wanted to see and do. So we said, what the heck? And we went ahead and did it. And the ride up was worth stunning. whatever price it stunning. was because uh, yeah, it was fantastic. and You can see through this valley, this trail goes back and forth in the switchbacks. So for the area, this is a big winter destination up here. And there's snowshoeing, sledding, and... Cross-country skiing. Cross-country skiing. And so a lot of people come up here... Accidentally to, falling. ...to have fun in the snow when they live around the Palm Springs area. And you can you know it snows up here yeah. at this elevation because 35 degrees up here was well, like 65 down below and uh this is supposed to be a pretty warm day today so yeah 
This is where I would spend the whole summer if I lived here because it's 120 on that valley floor. Yeah, they said there's always a 30 to 40 degree difference up here. So it's a huge difference because you go up over 6,000 feet in elevation coming up the tram. I did notice when we were on the tram that uh, we were the only ones in shorts. <laughs> and I was patting myself on the back for wearing, wearing uh, sneakers today because um, I had the flip-flops on. And I said, no, I might have to walk a lot. But yeah, I would have frostbitten toes by the time I get out of here, so. Yay me. Good job, Jeff. Yeah, I'm I know, so right? I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it's the little things in life. She's such a big boy. I know. All right, we've got down to uh, the lower level. We made it to the trailheads yeah. now. So we are taking Nature Trail Loop. It's three quarters of a mile. And um, it looks like someone came across here some kind of utility vehicle. It kind of made a mess. It's normally sand you walk on, but it has deep tread marks in it right now. And here we go. We're on a trail. Yay! Major trail. Oh, this is Oregon, right? <laughs> no. No, no. We're in Southern California That's in the right. desert. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. This does feel like a very Oregon type day though. I will tell you, a Pacific Northwest type day. Yep. We're kind of immune to the rain after living there so long. Yeah, we figured out when it rains so you just don't go outside. Yeah, everyone today on the tram was just bundled up in all their winter down coats and ski pant type pants and we were like, oh, shorts and a sweatshirt. We're yeah. good. Yeah. Man. Check out this sign. Meet This was a little surprise I had set up when we came out here. I had a little <laughs> surprise set up. Oh, yeah. OMG. It's the smell of Jeff. Yeah, the Jeffrey Pine. So you thought you you thought you smelled something good. It's the smell of Jeff. Uh, <laughs> so the trails here are outlined really well. Like here's yeah, a, a trail, trail a sign. Nature, nature trail. Yeah, we're on the nature trail, but you can go off either way. The trails themselves are lined by the dead tree limbs and. Um, tree stalks <laughs> and it's it's so pleasant with the smell of jeff in the air yeah that's what i was smelling the that clean, good smell fresh smell of jeff it was all you honey i know i didn't know it all yeah. along it's been you yeah yeah i thought there was something familiar i was smelling <laughs> and i couldn't put my finger on it then i realized oh yeah it's jeff oh, <laughs> he's never gonna let this go oh no 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 i'm gonna own this one for a while to jeff for the rest of our lives together, I'm gonna hear about the smell of Jeff. Uh huh. It's an exquisite smell. <laughs> the smell that takes you back <laughs> to the great outdoors. Yeah. A manly, fresh, <laughs> woodsy smell. <laughs> You're gonna get your own deodorant yeah. pretty soon. Apparently, I've already got one. I gotta start looking harder. They're gonna be contacting you. Yeah. The Kardashians may want that oh, scent. Man. They can bottle it. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Is that Jeff you're wearing? Yes, it is. It's a fresh woodsy Dumb. smell. <laughs> <sighs> this is pretty with the big boulders here. We just spotted a mountain lion to our left. We're slowly proceeding out of here <laughs> as not to get run over. We did not. Oh, yeah. We haven't spotted anything yet. Not even a cute little chippy. Yeah. Now, you're supposed to feed the squirrels, right? Uh-uh. No. No, don't feed the squirrels. No. Okay, so we have this hilarious story about feeding the wildlife or the squirrels. So, we were at the Grand Canyon two summers ago and there are some people feeding a squirrel on one of the overlooks and there's clearly signs that say everywhere do not feed the animals 
Hi well, guys. You're gonna give me dinner and don't feed the animals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Those darn YouTubers, right? <laughs> so it said, do not feed the animals everywhere it was posted. But they, they were pretty explicit about squirrels for some reason. Because they were everywhere. Yeah. And they were super friendly, trying to come up and look adorable and ask for food and beg people. And so they were obviously pretty tame. And tell it the rangers. <laughs> so the ranger, uh, who was a, a pretty big dude, um, kind of said, hey, don't feed the squirrels, can't you read the sign? And uh, Yeah, he was really abrupt about it, but he and vocal, and everyone around just stopped he, and looked. The first looked. time he said it, you knew he meant it. Let's put it that yeah. way. It's like, okay. And obviously, the ranger's telling you don't feed the squirrels, so you don't keep doing it. But, ah, uh, we're in America where you do whatever the hell you want. So, uh, then he said, uh, the, that the, people continued they, feeding the squirrels. Yeah, and he's like, hey! I said, don't feed those squirrels! Knock it off! What did I just tell you? <laughs> and I said, let's get behind the tree. I think it's going to be a shooting. Yeah. But, so, uh, he was very livid. He was, he was pissed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was pissed. So every time we see a sign that says, don't feed the squirrels, it brings back this fond memory of this ranger that was just beside himself. Yeah. So, good yeah. job, rangers. Yeah. So never feed squirrels. Mm-mm. Or any wildlife. So, the nature trail loop goes across this little bridge. You should hang on tight here because the river is roaring beneath our feet right now. Yeah, check out this river. Oh. <laughs> it's roaring. Okay, I didn't know she was going to show you that. <laughs> yeah. He was trying to go for an, exci uh, yeah. an exciting for a shot. I was going for moment. <laughs> Yeah, so we just took the little bridge. What a nice trail though, huh? Yeah, it is. Ginormous ponderosa pines here. Yeah, look at this one. Yeah. Let me see if I it's can giant. film to the top of it. That I'll go stand next rain to the scale. And... Are you going to show a scale? Yep. Okay, Jeff loves to show scale. Here goes the scale. See, I got a yep. bush in your way there. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. It is a big boy. Massive. Good job, honey. Yeah. Yeah. The smell of Jeff. Okay. <laughs> This is pretty cool, this rock here. It's such a California. Right in the middle of all look, these trees, this the big mound parks. of rock. Yeah, super cool. This is that woodpecker. <laughs> There's some kind of construction machinery, jackhammer, something going on out here. I think that's the northern yellow billed woodpecker myself. Oh, About two feet tall. <laughs> Beak like a jackhammer. Look, if you ever get a chance and you're in this area, this is awesome. Beautiful trail. It must be even more gorgeous on a dry day. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel sighting. Uh uh. Coming up to another bridge. It's just so quiet out here. I 
really quiet. These giant ponderosa pines are beautiful. I agree. So we are now coming, we just went past the ranger station and we're now coming to the end of our hike. So what do you think? I enjoyed it. I did too, it was lovely. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, wild animals. I'd be uh, a little concerned about that if you come. Uh, other than that, uh, beautiful. There, there wasn't. Yeah, it was very quiet. We saw some birds, we saw a squirrel. Very quiet through here and just peaceful. It's very it's a, serene up here. Yeah, beautiful walk. If it wasn't for the jackhammers working on something down the road, it would have been just so peaceful. <laughs> We'd show you the part where we're gonna go up this long, long walkway uphill. It's gonna uphill, be real ugly. But it's not gonna be pretty. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, there might be some profanities. <laughs> Proven about, <laughs> and yeah, so we're not gonna just uh, we'll cut it off before some sweat dripping. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. So we'll catch you back afterwards. Look at the rocks, so pretty. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> you can see that. The clouds are really low and they're covering the tops of the mountains up here today because of the rain but this place must just get hammered with snow here's looking between the two tram docking areas down into the valley so pretty it has this strange misty look to it today too <laughs> We are on our way back down on the train now. If you didn't have the opportunity to have one of the state park volunteers guide you through a relaxing and informative adventure, you might want to put this on your list of things to do when you visit us again. As we descend from the mountain top, you see below you the desert cities of is the city of Desert Hot Springs with Highway 62. That's the road to Dodge Creek. Yes, yeah. the city. How is that swing? Closer to us and to the right of the swing was good. Is the city of Palm Springs. It does feel more like you're falling here. It feels more like you're falling, like you're falling down. Yeah. 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 Well, Palm Desert, yeah. 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 And yeah. The swings are pretty cool. Yeah. You should see on the window a bit. We're going to have another one soon at this station. Okay, Jeff, you, you ready? Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Those whirling blades are powered by the most constant winds that pour out of the mouth of the batting pad. The electricity that these Look how far is sufficient to power are. thousands of homes in our state. Well, why don't you take back and enjoy the view of our beautiful Coachella Valley? And I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Switch. You can now see so far out here. Um, in the background, there is like mountain ranges. We can see very well on the way up. Cliff sides are beautiful.
Palm Springs, one of the cable cars here and at the very entrance. It's covered in Christmas lights right now, but this is the original cabin number two. It was in use from 1963 through 2000. This was made in Sweden. It wasn't made in Sweden? This was made in Sweden. <laughs> Good. So, yeah, and there's a red one right when you drive in the entrance. Jeff. Can you see it? Yeah, there's a cable car. That's pretty cool. Made in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what they told us. Made in Sweden. <laughs> the cable made in America. <laughs> Sweden. 